That first day of TwitchCon, I had like a whole outfit planned. It was this white outfit. It was the first day of TwitchCon. It's the one that I ended up wearing. Ashley can vouch for me on this one. I was in the hotel room for fucking, I don't know how long. That first day was so, uh, a little bit rough, I think. Like getting- I'm a bit scared. I was a little bit, don't, well, if, okay. Let it me happens. phrase it in like a better way than, than scared. I was apprehensive. You're a bit scared. I was apprehensive, <laughs> I was apprehensive of what it, that would be like. Cause I will I say- enjoy it too much. I have so this many could be weapons. the rest of my life. Do you understand how many weapons I have in like not even arms reach, like like a wrist's movement? She's taking another. Oh my god, she's she's insane. Hey. <laughs> that was kind of what happened the entire fucking time at TwitchCon. Is like I'd be going around, and be like, "Oh, what's up? Yo, what's up, dude? So nice to meet you. Fucking hell yeah!" And then they go like, "Oh shit, do you want to do a photo?" <laughs> is the same pose every fucking time. But either way, um, the second day of TwitchCon was actually pretty good. I don't know. I think if I, I did the makeup yesterday, I went out before. It's much easier to do it like the second day. I didn't really mind. I was I was less scared, but it was okay. I mean, less. I was less apprehensive about the whole thing. Oh my God. You felt like it was maybe natural? Like something you should have been doing your whole life? Like something that just felt right. No. No. She's, she's... That was a private conversation. <laughs> 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 no, it was easy to do on the second day. It was, um, it was, it was a bit easier. Cause like, I, I don't know. There's something about like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Everyone wasn't really nice. Yeah, everyone was so fucking nice. And Not they said one... you looked good. And you yeah. Did, you did look good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no one was like weird. It didn't feel weird. There were a bunch of dudes like walking around in maid dresses and shit. It was not like odd or strange. I gotta say, or... yeah. almost every Uber called you don't. miss. They said, I got it. I didn't, they didn't call Girl, me miss. miss. They didn't call Madam. me miss. They, they called me madame. Every motherfucker Bonjour, in France. Bonjour, madame. Every motherfucker in France says madame to me. And I don't, I don't get why. When the fuck did I it happen? I don't get why. I don't get why. Oh, I don't know why. I don't get why. Pose. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not taking any photos. Oh, did I even tell you when I got the TwitchCon like badge when we first, like before we got the TwitchCon badge, like the thing that was like, all right, yeah. this way, for the metal scanners, they're like, yeah. this, this way, madame, too. They said that a lot. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> I got fucking. Oh. I'm so scared to misgender you. I know, right? I give people a strange little weird vibe, and they they don't know what to do. But they see the eyelashes, and they go like, "Ah, you're clearly trying for for a girl here," so they go with that. Madame. <laughs> they see they see into your soul. Madame. Yep. People said Madame is classy. No, that's just like the word for Miss in French. Like that's just what they call everyone. Seth Everman just subbed. What the fuck? Yo. What do you mean? Someone said Seth Everman just subbed. Can I tell you a thing that was fu that fucking uh, freaked me out about Seth Everman? Here's how TwitchCon went. I was trying to film a vlog throughout the whole thing of like, a bit like the Nat Date thing, but the TwitchCon vlog. And I'm gonna be real with you, that shit is gonna be used on like little bits because there is not enough footage to make a vlog out of. And you think, Finn, you spent four days there. How the fuck could you not make a whole vlog out of it? And it's because, actually, how much time... Which bastard subbed to me in the bottom stream? <laughs> you just- He doesn't even have partner! He got- <laughs> He doesn't even have partner! And you were a partner! You had a fucking partner badge, Seth! What the fuck? Oh my god! This motherfucker doesn't- e Okay. He had a partner badge at TwitchCon, he doesn't even have partner on Twitch! Dude, okay, this guy's like pulling behind the scenes shit. Oh my god, anyway. So- we could how long how long did it how long did we get without like people coming up taking photos and stuff? In it was, the convention, like seconds. By the way, everyone was so nice, so I loved that. In all fairness, I'm not I try I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I had the best fucking time when we, because of that. So here's the thing with Seth, right? Because of that, we like found a, a quiet area for a second with like a, these big windows and everything. And did you see sorry Lily? I didn't. And I was like standing facing a wall. So like people couldn't like tell, so we got like a bit of time like um like to just chat and like eat food and snacks and water and stuff. And then like either way, people came up and we spent like an hour doing like little meet and greets at kind of everywhere. 
And then I noticed towards the end of it, there were like maybe like five, ten people left like in, in this group that we were all like I was talking to. And then like at the back of the group when we were taking a selfie, I talked to the person I was taking a selfie with. I went like I noticed something behind behind us in camera. And it was a big bold guy, a bit six foot four bold man behind us. And I went, Do you know who's I talked to the guy that I was taking a selfie with? I was like, Do you know who Seth Everman is? And he goes, Yeah, of course. And he goes, and I go, I'm, he's behind us right now. And we, and he's like, D he's just fucking behind. I, we were taking all these photos with people and I was like secretly thinking to myself, oh my fucking God, I hope like I can, I hope I can do this. And then so before he leaves, so I can like say hi, cause it's fucking like Seth Everman. Oh my God. After all of that, uh, Seth was like walking to the elevator sort of like escalator sort of behind us. And like, I, I said, I like, he turned to me and he went like, I love your stuff, man. And I fucking tell, dude, I freaked the, I freaked the fuck out because I was like expecting to say like, oh my god, dude, holy shit, are you Seth Everman? Can we get like a photo or something? And um, yeah, I like, I was so fucking stun locked, and I, I immediately just went like, you know who I am? You know who I am? You went like, yeah, I like, see your stuff all the time. You're like, you're like bigger than me. And then I did, I literally just didn't say anything. I just like sat there and went. I will give you all the ah. money to you <laughs> I didn't know what to action. say at all. And then we hung out for like the whole fucking time. It was so good. We like got drinks at bars. And like, yeah, I, was, I was freaking the fuck out for so long. I got photos and you can see me like nervous because <laughs> we got a photo. I'm like, yeah. I fangirled over people I met. It was so cool.